Okay, good afternoon today. How are you doing today? Thanks for coming. We are going to uh, get started. Uh, I hope you can hear me well. Hello, first and all. Second, my apologies for the many uh, last name pronunciations, mispronunciations that I will have during all this afternoon. So, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so good evening. My name is Antonio Baeza, Chair of the Scholarships and Awards uh, Committee here at, Clem at the College of Science at Clemson. Welcome to this evening's uh, celebration. We're here to honor the best and the brightest in the College of Science. I'm amazed, actually, by the accomplishments uh, of our most outstanding students. Uh, I would like to take a minute to thank the committee members who served this, this year. They are, they are in no particular order. Leanne Clark from uh, Genetics and Biochemistry. Hi, Leanne, thank you. Feng Ding, I haven't seen Feng. No, oh, no, unfortunately. Uh, from uh, Physics and Astronomy, Svetlana, this is the first one, Svetlana Poznanovic. Wasn't that bad? No? Okay, perfect, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's okay, yeah, okay. Of Mathematical and Statistical Sciences, and that's the second one, Steven Svanevich from Chemistry. That's fine. So I'm now, I'm, I'm now going to turn it over to the Dean of our college, Cynthia, Cynthia Young. Thank you, Antonio. Uh, my name is Cynthia Young. I'm the Dean of the College of Science here at Clemson. And I will tell you, I've got some hard jobs. The chairs have some hard jobs. This is our most favorite type of event. Uh, this and graduation, of course, when we're seeing our students walk across the stage. But this is when we get to honor, you know, you said it earlier, Antonio, um, our best and brightest. I want to give you one num So I'm a mathematician, so forgive me. The College of Science undergraduate students make up 12% of the Clemson undergraduate student population, but they're 26% of the Honors College. So, yeah, <laughs> fabulous. Why, why do I say that? I say that, and we're the only college where the majority of our students are going on to graduate school or medical school. I say that because when we honor our best and brightest, I want you to think about the pool of students that the students you're gonna hear about today have risen from. Okay, so truly, truly, truly some of the best of the best. Um, it's great to see all the faculty. I wanna thank Echo, um, Antonio, thank you for your leadership. The faculty on the selection committee, I don't know how you do it because I saw some of the ones that got nominated and it's unbelievable. So thank you for um, the investment you make. All of you faculty who are supervising research Thank you for the investment you make. That's one of our signature undergraduate experiences here at Clemson, and it's conducting research, new scientific discovery, under the mentorship of a faculty member and their team. And I see many of you here today, so thank you. Um, we truly have a world-class faculty here at Clemson. Um, I'm partial, I think, the ones in science. No offense, Brandon and Caffles. Um, science has the best ones. <laughs> Uh, we have the strongest faculty, um, and it's a joy to do what I do and the chairs do because we get to go around and tell your story um, and share you know, with everyone um, the phenomenal um, mentorship that you offer to these students. So um, let's get started. I'm ready to start handing out awards. Thanks, Antonio. Perfect. So before we actually start, uh, let me go first over a couple of things, the way the things will flow uh, tonight. So for the honorees, uh, at the conclusion of your video, I ask that you please make your way to the front, to my right, for Dean Young to present you with your award. Uh, also, the, importantly, the monetary part of your award will be added to your student account by May the 2nd. <laughs> at the conclusion of the ceremony, honorees, please step outside the corridor for photographs with your advisors, unit leaders, and of course with Dean Young. So let's get started. All of tonight's honorees are outstanding scholars. Many are accomplished researchers already. Others have committed themselves to special service projects. Over the course of a single evening, we can barely scratch the surface of these very special young people, of what these very special have, people have accomplished in such a short, a short time. We will start with our undergra undergraduate awards, and then we will meet, uh, move into our graduate level awards. So let's start first with the Outstanding Senior in Science Award. The Outstanding Senior in Science Award recognizes the best overall graduating senior 
in the College of Science on the basis of scholarship and character. Our honoree is Louis Frank, who is majoring in biochemistry with a minor in philosophy, political, and legal theory. Honors College Executive Director William Lasser highlights her passion, broad and deep insight, and excellent critical thinking abilities and communication skills, and describe her, her stating, Luis is a student who approaches every experience fully invested and committed. Luis has an exceptional understanding of effective communication across different education, educational levels and backgrounds. He also comments, I can think of no student stronger than Luis in terms of strength, character, and accomplishments. As expected, Luis' academic record is impressive. She has a nearly perfect GPA, while often taking classes, uh, class loads exceeding 21 hours. Luis has participated in research under the supervision of Cheryl Agran, uh, Ingram Smith, associate professor in genetics and, bio and biochemistry. She is in her fifth semester of research focusing on the eukaryotic pathogen Entomeba histolytica. She will present in, and defend her th uh, Department of Honors thesis in philosophy, nonetheless. She has authored two science and ethics editorials over the last two years, addressing the timely topics of mask and vaccination. Louis' passion is bioethics, the point at which medicine and policy intersect. She wants, the, she wants to interleague medicine with philosophy and bioethics to enact effective biomedical policies that will, will advance global, global health without sacrificing humanity. After graduation, as part of her Rhodes Scholarship, Lewis will be moving to England to start a Bachelor of Arts degree in philosophy, politics, and economics at Oxford University. Then she wants to return to the USA, luckily, for medical school. This year, we ask each award winner to record a short video for today's ceremony so we can learn a little more about them. Let's hear more from Luis. Hi, everyone. My name is Luis Frankie. I'm from Spartanburg, South Carolina, and I'm majoring at Biochem here at Clemson. My favorite Clemson moment was this one beautiful, tiny moment my sophomore year when I was at a lecture with a friend for no particular reason. We just dropped in and we walked out after like an hour and a half and it had rained. And so everything on campus was beautiful and green and everyone was happy and they were walking around. And it was just kind of a moment where I knew I was exactly where I was supposed to be and that um, I was so lucky to have two and a half more years here. My undergraduate research is housed in the Eukaryotic Pathogens Innovations Lab. I work with Dr. Ingram Smith on the metabolism of Entamoeba histolytica, which basically looks like me studying three different genes um, within the organism and seeing what the effect of these genes has on its metabolism. My future plans next year are to attend the University of Oxford for the next two years. I'll be studying philosophy, politics, and economics at Balliol College. And following that little transition, I'm hoping to go to medical school. And eventually, I'm hoping to go into healthcare policy back here in the United States. Luis. It's a pleasure to present you with the Outstanding Senior in, uh, in Science Award. Let me help you again to congratulate Louis. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, we have a little surprise for Louis Frankie. So we've already celebrated um, this, and some of you may or may not know this, but Clemson University's very first Rhodes Scholar is Louise Frankie. And Louise, I, I know at this moment you, we've celebrated this and, it's a, and you're off to Oxford, but we wanted you to have a little keepsake so when you're my age and you're walking down the hall of your house, you look back and think, wow, I was a first at Clemson. So here we go. Oh, yeah. So this, I'll hang on. This has Louise Frankie Clemson University's first Rhodes Scholar 2022, um, and it's a picture that she can keep forever.
Perfect. Let's move into the Outstanding Undergraduate in Discovery Award. The Outstanding Undergraduate in Discovery Award is given to a graduating senior who has performed outstanding original research in the sciences. Our honoree is Luke Ruton, a biochemistry major with a minor in chemistry and Spanish studies. Luke was one of 62, uh, 62 students nationally and of six at Clemson, selected into the 2020 Beckman Scholars Program, funded by the Beckman Foundation, that is dedicated to furthering undergraduate research. This program offers 15 months of research with guidance from a selected mentor. Luke has been conducting research with chemistry professor Julia Brumahim, who studies, among others, metal-mediated DNA damage by reactive oxygen species. In her lab, Luke has been exploring the oxidation of glutathione, a naturally occurring cellular antioxidant, and has been formally testing the effect of biological metals, such as iron and copper, on this process. High cellular glutathione levels are linked to improved disease prognosis. Therefore, measuring glutathione levels is key to understand, understanding disease progression. In her letter of recommendation, Dr. Brumahim states, Luke is the most dedicated undergraduate researcher out of 45 plus who have worked in my group during my 18 years at Clemson, a number that includes Goldwater scholars and numerous undergraduates who have continued on to graduate students' studies. Students like Luke are extremely rare. Without question, he has the academic abilities to succeed, but beyond that, he has a strong motivation and desire to learn and to make a difference through his work. One might expect that a student with such abilities will be high strung. On the contrary, looks extremely friendly, personable, and remarkably low-key about his success, success, succeed. He has a maturity and education that I rarely seen in undergraduate students. Luke's resume also shows that, that he's a person that cares. He's a tutor with, to students at Clemson's Academic Succeed Center and a mentor in the College of Science Cosmic Peer-to-Peer -peer Mentoring Program. Furthermore, in the middle of the pandemic, Luke volunteered in the Rosa Clark Medical Clinic that offers care for uninsured and underinsured people in this rural area of South Carolina. Let's watch Luke's video. My name is Luke Broughton. I am a biochemistry major and I'm from Lancaster, South Carolina. My favorite Clemson moment was probably whenever I was in the Eureka program, uh, which was a program that was for research and occurred the summer before my freshman year. And this of course introduced me to research, but also allowed me to meet many of the people that I still consider friends to this day. Uh, I think my favorite moment throughout this experience was whenever one of the participants invited some of us to go over to her house on the lake um, and we swam most of the day there into the evening and then at the end of the night we ended up on one of those massive pool floats um, and we were just talking about whatever and that's whenever I knew that Clemson was the right place for me. I'm a researcher in Dr. Julia Brumagem's lab where I study the rate of metal mediated thiol oxidation. Uh, in other words, I study molecules like antioxidants and how metals can interact with them to disrupt cellular redox mechanisms. My future plans are to attend medical school in the fall of this year, and I also hope to combine research with medicine in my future career. Look, congratulations. It's a pleasure to present you with the Outstanding Undergraduate in Discovery Award. Let's give Luke a hand. We will move now into Outstanding Junior in Science. The Outstanding Junior in Science Award recognizes the best overall junior in the College of Science on the basis of scholarship and character. Our honoree for most outstanding junior in science is Grant Wilkins. 
Grant is double majoring in mathematical sciences and computer engineering. His mathematics professor, Jim Koikendall, says that Grant distinguished himself at the highest level among all other students last year in one of the most successful abstract algebra, algebra classes that he has ever taught. Currently, Grant is conducting research in electrical and computer engineering, uh, assistant professor's lab, John Calhoun. He's focusing on predicting and optimizing the energy usage of moving data on high performance computers and the Internet of Things devices. The goal is to find methods to reduce power while maintaining a consistent runtime. Grant, Grant is quite active at, on campus. Here at Clemson, he's a member of both Blue Key as well as Phi Kappa Phi. Additionally, Grant is a member of the Dixon Global Policy Scholars, is the ring director of the Student Alumni, Alumni Council, and is a member of the National Scholars Program in the Clemson Honors College, PreVC. Grant once was just recently selected as the 2020 Barry Goldwater Scholarship recipient. Grant is one of 45 Goldwater Scholars in the country who are mathematics and computer science majors. The Goldwater Scholarship program, by the way, was designed to foster and encourage, encourage studying, uh, outstanding students to pursue research careers, careers in the fields of natural sciences, engineering, and mathematics. Grant enjoys listening to music, singing, and watching older films in his spare time. After Clemson, once uh, Grant is planning on, go in go on going to graduate school to focus on designing smarter electric grids for the United States. His goal is making the grid become more resilient and efficient, and he also hopes to produce research that will aid in ameliorating the effects of climate change. Let's watch uh, Grant's video. I'm Grant Wilkins. I'm a junior mathematical sciences and computer engineering major from Kingsport, Tennessee. My favorite Clemson moment was watching the balloons fly every Saturday in Death Valley when I was a little kid. In my research, we look at how to take really large data sets, make them smaller in an energy efficient way for high performance computing and scientific applications. When I graduate Clemson, I want to take what I learned here and apply it in a PhD program focusing on smart grid applications. It's a pleasure, Grant, to present you with the Outstanding Junior in Science Award. Let's move then into the Blue Key Academic and Leadership Award. The Blue Key Academic and Leadership Award recognizes one student in each of the seven colleges at Clemson who has distinguished herself or himself in academic scholarship and campus leadership. Our honoree is Biological Sciences Major Coriana Hayes. Coriana is a leader on and off campus. On campus, she has been, she has been conducting independent research with Biologi Biological Sciences Associate Professor Michael Childress through the Creative Inquiry Program that he leads to understand the social structure of butterfly fishes in relation to territoriality and coral disease transmission in the good old Florida Keys. Dr. Childress describes Korean as an outstanding research assistant with exceptional analytical skills, asking insightful questions and in identifying critical issues. Off campus, Coriana serves as a docent in the Something Very Fishy Marine Science Outreach Program, which combines a musical theater experience production with a hands-on marine science exhibit to improve, to improve conservation literacy to elementary students. In his recommendation letter, Dr. Childress states, Coriana is one of the most reliable and dependable, dependable students that I have ever worked with. She's intelligent and learns quickly She's thorough in her work and careful in her data collection. She's curious and knowledgeable enough to investigate questions that interest her. She's a team player dedicated to her lab mates, her peers, and her advisor. But what makes her exceptional is her love and science and passion 
for sharing it with others. Let's hear something from more from a Koreana. Hi, my name is Corey Hayes. I am a senior biological sciences major from Irmo, South Carolina. I really have so many Clemson moments that it's hard to choose just one. Um, I think my favorite Clemson memory was being the president of Welcome Week Clemson. So Welcome Week is the first tradition that students really go through when they come to campus. And being the one who orchestrated that and seeing the impact that it had, not only on our first year students, but on our returners who served as Welcome Week leaders, um, it really meant a lot. And this program is just something that's so important to me. So my research is twofold. The research that I do with Clemson is Caribbean reef ecology. So I do field work in the Florida Keys on scuba and study the association of reef fish with coral disease. And the other part of my research is with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, and that's all soundscape ecology, so studying marine organisms and coniferous species off the coast of Australia. My future plans are definitely still in the making, but I do have a direct hire authority with NOAA, so I hope to move into a federal position to continue my marine science outreach and education. Koreana. Perfect, let's move into the Phi Kappa Phi Certificate of Merit. The Phi Kappa Phi Certificate of Merit recognizes a graduating senior with a GPA of 3.4 or above who has made noteworthy contributions in areas such as leadership, service, and creative endeavors to her or his department, college, and Clemson University. Our honoree is Sarah Fields. Sarah is a physics major with a minor in political science. Sarah has conducted research projects in particle physics, biophysics, and nuclear physics. Sarah has accomplished the most in her current work with researchers at NC State and located in the Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility. With them, she's studying fundamental descriptions of protons and neutrons and their fields in order to improve models of their interactions in a nucleus or in collisions. In, her, in his letter of recommendation, physics and astronomy professor Mark Leasing says, everyone Miss Fields has worked with desperately wants her to come to their own graduate program. They simply do not find undergraduates with her abilities. Sarah also complemented a summer RU internship in the laboratory of Hugh Wen Lin at Michigan State University, where she focused on high energy physics theory. She explored how machine learning can improve the efficiency of calculating function values that are computationally very expensive to solve. During this work, she also studied the fundamentals of lattice quantum chromodynamics. Do you know what is that? I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I know, but I'm not gonna tell you. I Google it, actually. <laughs> Sarah has balanced her time well, maintaining a very high GPA while part participating in numerous, numerous extracurricular activities and laboratory work. Among others, she volunteers with the Clemson Life Program. She's an accomplished dancer and captain of the Clemson University competent, competitive dance team, Tiger Strat. She's a co-chair of Clemson Guman in Physics, and she has been a calculus and astronomy tutor. Sarah is planning to go get her PhD in nuclear physics. Currently, she has been accepted into multiple programs but she's leaning towards Columbia University. Let's watch Sarah's video. Hi, I'm Sarah Fields. I'm a physics major and political science minor from Chapin, South Carolina. My favorite Clemson memory was joining my dance team, Tiger Strut. It's just been such a blessing to be able to keep doing what I love during college, and I'm super excited for nationals this year. During my time at Clemson, I've been really fortunate to be involved in a variety of different research projects. My summer after my freshman year, I got to be an intern at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory where I worked on Cold War test films. Here, I produced a method that could accurately correct yields for high mass to yield ratio weapons. 
My second summer, I was fortunate enough to learn more about biophysics research, and I was able to learn about aptamers that can be used to help detect the COVID-19 virus. This most recent summer, I was able to participate in the Michigan State REU. Here I learned about the fundamentals of lattice QCD and used machine learning techniques to approximate later k on correlator function data. Currently, I'm working with two fantastic mentors, learning about the fundamentals of Feynman loop diagrams, and I'm doing self-energy equations and vertex corrections equations. After I graduate Clemson, I will be continuing on to get my PhD in nuclear and particle theory physics, most likely at Columbia University, but we'll see. Let's congratulate Sarah. We move then into our graduate level uh, awards. First, outstanding graduate in discovery, experimental. For the outstanding graduate in discovery, we honor two graduating doctoral students in the College of Science who have made distinctive and discernible contributions to their field. The first award I will present is for the outstanding graduate in discovery with an experimental emphasis. Our honoree is Red Rosso from Biological Sciences. Red joined in, uh, Clemson in 2017 after earning, his ma after earning his Master in Science from University of Central Florida. At Clemson, he's conducting research on venom evolution, diversification, and genomic adaptation using rattlesnakes and water snakes as model system. His advisor, Biological Sciences Professor Chris Parkinson states, Red is dedicated, focused scientist, as well as an excellent mentor and indeed shows. Red has published 15 papers on evolutionary biology and is first author on six of them. He has generated over $30,000 in research grants and fellowships. Red has also given six external conference and intramural presentations, including two talks at the prestigious Instituto Butantan in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Red is a leader in the research in, in the lab, having mentoring several undergraduate students as well as junior graduate students. His advisor, his advisor notes, Red is a quiet person, yet his academic succeed and his humble personality has facilitated those around him to start using him as a resource. It's a little abstract, but I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Red will be graduating in May and has already lined up a postdoctoral, postdoctoral position at Washington State University and University of South Florida to work on nothing cooler than Tasmanian devil cancer genomics. <laughs> Let's hear from a Rhett a little. My name is Rhett Ratza. I am a PhD candidate in biological sciences, and I am from Lara, Ohio. Uh, so my favorite Clemson moment is probably this moment and this semester. Um, I got a fellowship this semester, so. I feel like Clemson really appreciates um, its students and, and what we do and the hard work we put in. And so this is my favorite moment at Clemson. Uh, so I'm studying a fairly famous theory in evolutionary biology called character displacement. And what character displacement is, is essentially when species overlap, they will diverge in traits in order to avoid competition. So I'm testing this in snake venom in pit vipers specifically, such as your rattlesnakes and your cotton mouse that we find here in South Carolina. My next steps are going to be doing a postdoc at the University of South Florida, uh, specifically studying uh, Tasmanian devils and an infectious cancer that they have. Let's clap for it. I can, I can do it later.
Let's move into outstanding graduate in discovery, theoretical and computational. Our outstanding graduate in discovery with a theoretical computational emphasis honoree is Andrew Pelokin from chemistry. We got it right, thank you. Andrew joined Clemson in 2019, working under arrangement with the US Air Force and under a prestigious US Air Force Fellowship. In 2008, he obtained his Master in Science at the University of Florida under, under a similar program. William Pennington, chemistry professor and department, department chair, says that Andrew is, quite simply, the most intelligent, creative, organized, and productive person that I know. Andrew's research focus is to incorporate halogen bonding interactions in solution and the solid state to both influence and direct reactivity and to stabilize very unstable products such as hydrosanines. I don't know what is that, right? Hydrosanines. <laughs> he has published 16 papers on the subject and is first author on 13 of these. Andrew will defend his dissertation in May of this year and will be promoted to will be promoted on July 1st. His first assignment after graduation will be as Deputy Division Chief for the Test Science Divisions at the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, or DTRA. The expectation is that he will assume the position of Department Chair in Chemistry at the U.S. Force Academy after that. Let's watch, let's watch Andrew's video. Hi, my name is Andrew Pelequin. Uh, I'm not really from anywhere anymore. I've been in the Air Force for about 15 years, but I claim Colorado Springs is home. Uh, my major is chemistry. I knew Clemson was the right place for me when during probably my second semester here and I'd pitched my fifth or sixth harebrained idea to my research advisor and he just kept telling me to go for it. I knew that I'd found the right spot uh, to work and learn and grow. My PhD research has involved using halogen bonding to probe unusual organic transformations. Basically, we're trying to get molecules to stick together in a way that we can trap new molecules that have never been seen before. After graduation this summer, I'll be taking a position at the Defense Threat Reduction Agency in New Mexico uh, before returning to the chemistry faculty at the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. Let's give Andrew a hand, please. Outstanding Graduate in Learning. For the Outstanding Graduate in Learning, we honor two graduate students who have been exemplary in undergraduate science teaching, particularly in their, in their sincere interest and in concern for the success of undergraduate students and who went the extra mile in ensuring their exit. Our first honoree is Lauren Stosinski from the Department of Biological Sciences. In her time at Clemson, Lorraine has taught multiple 1,000 level courses for biology majors and non-majors. She's also the leading TA for biology, for the biology lab for majors. She's part, and this is partly due to her ability to succeed in teaching large sections also, but also her interest in teaching, in teaching that became more and more evident while conduct, conducting her PhD. Indeed, her passion for teaching led her to pursue a certificate in engineering and science education while working on her, on her own PhD program. In her recommendation letter, Biolog Biological Sciences Senior Lecturer Christ Christine Minor writes, I call Lorraine a unicorn. It is rare to find someone interested in teaching and learning and focused on pedagogy while pursuing a rigorous PhD program in the sciences. Lorraine has designed data analysis, data analysis activities for students to practice that interpretation, presentation, and basic stats using Excel. Additional experience with data analysis has long been an area of need in the major's level course. 
During the pandemic, she developed 12 activities for Biology 1101 and 10 activities for, for Biology 1111. Not only did she develop robust, act robust activities, all assessments for, of those activities, and implemented them with the, with the other TAs in the course, but she also presented the process of development, student learning at comms, and preliminary results of our assessment of the activities at one national conference and a Clemson OTEI symposium. She was the key to the success of biology online at Clemson in the middle of the pandemic. Laurene's students describe her as dedicated, enth enthusiastic, and passionate. One of her students comments, Laurene's greatest strength was her ability to infuse her passion of biology with the lesson plan and love every day. And our students noted, she made difficult labs feel much easier with her explanations. Lorraine defended her, defended her dissertation in March and will graduate in May. Lorraine has accepted a postdoctoral position at Purdue University, focusing on teaching and learning in STEM. Her long-term goals are to remain in academia at a liberal art, arts institution. Let's watch Lorraine's video. Hi, my name is Lawrence Tachinsky. I'm originally from Erie, Pennsylvania, and I'm getting my PhD in biological sciences. So one of my favorite memories since being here at Clemson is I got to be in the third row for the Notre Dame Clemson football game. And I was with some of my club softball teammates. And of course, it was there was a tropical storm going on. So it was monsooning outside and we were soaking wet. And it was a nail biter game, but we ended up winning and it was really fun and awesome. So my research here at Clemson has focused on three main avenues. My dissertation research has focused on how humans impact stream fish communities. I'm also really interested in fish behavior. So I've also done some experiments looking at how pharmaceuticals can impact fish exploratory behavior using fish mazes. And then finally, I really am interested in educational research. So looking at how students take what they learned in introductory biology and how they use it in upper level courses. So after Clemson, I have a postdoc lined up at Purdue University where I'm going to be doing some educational research, understanding how students learn to graph. And what that means is giving students a data set and then learning about how they think about creating a graph, whether it's a line graph, a bar graph. And then ultimately, I really want to end up teaching at a small university where I can you know, teach students and do a little bit of research on the side. Let's clap for Lorraine, please. So we move into outstanding graduate in learning. Our second outstanding graduate in learning honoree is Peter Westerman from the School of Mathematics and Statistical Sciences. According to his nominator, Peter is a master teacher and a very energetic and visible part of the mathematics teaching community. At Clemson, Peter began teaching math 1000 and 2000 level courses, impacting about 600 students each year. Peter is a noted participant in the math club, and his influence since the pandemic has been monumental in having a succeed math in. Math in is an all-day service that the math club does in, con in conjunction with the School of Mathematics and Statistical Sciences at the end of every regular semester since the year 2013. Mathematical and Statistical Sciences Professor Jim Koikendall writes in his recommendation letter, Peter seems to have infinite patience and is a master at using humor and levity to create a relaxed and open environment for students. And I have seen this work to his and the students benefit without exception. I think, one one, I think that one of the students summed up very well, writing, Peter's strongest quality as an instructor comes from how he treats his students. In the classroom, Peter's more relaxed jovial attitude allows the students to confidentially ask questions. This sounds generic, 
but it's genuinely difficult to describe how well Peter was able to make the class comfortable. I'm personally quite the introvert, but almost instantly I knew that I would be able to open up to Peter, both in class and in office hours. Both during office hours and in class, Peter is easily able to adapt his teaching style to a student he's interacting with, which allowed everyone to receive a tailored explanation of the topic. Let's watch Peter's video. Hi, my name is Peter Westerbond. I am from Canton, Pennsylvania, and I am a PhD student in the School of Mathematical and Statistical Sciences. So I think one of my favorite Clemson moments was uh, during my first years here, my now roommate Todd and I were studying really late and he was just tired so he was sprawled across two chairs and for some reason he just decided he wanted to like inch back and forth on the chairs and he just did the inchworm and we all couldn't stop laughing about it. For my research, uh, I'm currently working on an algorithm to try to better estimate the convergence rate of the GMRES and MINRES algorithm. What that means is kind of like those silly Facebook quizzes you see where it's like three bananas plus two apples equals five, and two oranges plus some other fruit equals seven. What are the values of the individual things? Uh, that is linear algebra and GMRES and MINRES are used to solve sparse linear systems. I don't really have my future plans worked out yet. I'm not ruling out working in academia, but I'll probably end up working in some of the big tech companies. Let's give Peter a hand. Let's move into outstanding graduate in engagement. The College of Science honors a graduate student who has excelled in strengthening and engaging with the community outside of the university. Jordan Eagle from Physics and Astronomy meets this criteria perfectly by service as a direct link between scientific research and the community that benefits from it. Jordan's studies are focused on understanding where cosmic rays, the most energetically massive particles, are produced in our galaxy. An important but underappreciated aspect of this work is communicating the relevance of astronomical research to the general public. And towards accomplishing that goal, Jordan and three other female peers start a new YouTube channel named One Planet Nine. That is root on science education, as well as sharing their enthusiasm and expertise. Jordan also works as a volunteer operator at the Clemson University Planetarium to make this resource accessible, free of charge to any interested person or group, including families, students, prospective students, special events, and more. Jordan is a graduate student at Clemson University and concomitantly, a pre-doctoral fellow at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. Jordan is starting very soon her well-deserved postdoctoral position at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, and she will study particles emitted by supernova explosions. Let's watch Jordan's video. Hi. My name is Jordan Eagle and I was born and raised in Hampton, Virginia. I joined the Clemson University Physics PhD program in the fall of 2016. My absolute favorite memory is definitely making the decision to join uh, Dr. Marco Aiello's high energy astrophysics group. Uh, it was the best decision I ever made. It's got me to where I am now and what I study now, which is high energy objects in the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, after I graduate this coming summer, I will join the NASA Goddard Astroparticle Lab in Maryland to continue my high energy studies there as a postdoctoral fellow. 
Thank you for this award. Jordan is not able to, uh, to be with us tonight as she is currently doing research at the Harvard Smithsonian uh, Center for Astrophysics. However, her advisor, uh, physics and astronomy associate professor Ayelo, will accept her award on her behalf. Let's congratulate Jordan, anyways, of course. So right now, we'll now turn it over to Alison Drobby, president of the Science Student Advisory Board, to present the Student Advisory Board Awards. Thank you, everyone. Um, so I'll introduce myself. My name is Alison Drobby. I am a current senior biochemistry major graduating in May. Um, and I'm really excited to present to you the Science Student Advisory Boards. Um, our first award is to Kat Terwelp. So Kat is an undergrad. I've actually had the privilege of knowing Kat since Eureka when her, Keller, Kat, um, oh, and Luke and I all did the program together. Um, I've gotten to know her better through SciSab and being in the organization together. Um, and I can say with confidence that Kat is one of the most hardworking individuals I've ever met. Um, the reason why the board elected to give, give her this award is that she's always going the extra mile. Um, she's always giving to other people. Um, and I can easily say that she's given the most to the board out of anybody in this past year. Um, we actually just created a new position on the board under one of our uh, positions called the grant officer. Um, and Kat was our vice chair for the grant committee, where she helped review um, different grants for undergraduate research and graduate research, um, which she was a huge help with. So she's been a wonderful resource. Um, she's a wonderful person um, who has a really bright future. And she's also an amazing artist. So very well-rounded. Um, and I'm excited to congratulate Kat. So please join me in giving her a round of applause. So our next award that SciSab votes on um, is our Advocate Award. So funny enough, Jenny Lamont is our award winner, and she's won for the past three semesters. Um, so <laughs> I think that goes to show just how much of a resource she's been for students. Um, I know in my journey, I joined SciSab when I was a freshman in, I think, spring of 2019, which seems like a long time ago. But uh, I think my first time seeing Jenny and kind of talking to her in her office was that semester. And ever since then, she's proved to be a phenomenal resource for me, not not just as a mentor, but also as a friend, somebody who's helped me um, kind of get through different life events and who was there for me during the pandemic, along with lots of other students. Um, she's an invaluable resource that I think um, Clemson's very lucky to have. Um, anybody who's ever been to Jenny's office or seen her as a mentor would say the same thing. Um, she's been a phenomenal mentor for SciSab. Um, she's always going the extra mile to help students, help us with events, um, and basically just answer any of our questions. So I can't thank her enough for her service at Clemson and her her dedication to her students, um, and I'm really, really grateful for her. So thank you, Jenny, and please join me giving her a round of applause. So Allison, come on back. <laughs> so Allison has led the Science Student Advisory Board, and I've been so inspired by all the things you have, under your leadership, they have done from the uh, tutoring at Little John, um, the Sci Weeks, 
um, and the whole grants program. That's such an important piece of our undergrads and graduate students getting an opportunity. And I can tell you, um, you're going to go far uh, and you're going to go great. And we're just so proud of everything you've done and wish you all the best. So please help me congratulate Allison Dottie for serving as the president of the Science Student Advisory Board. I wrap it up okay so a couple things real quick um first can we please have a huge round of applause for dr antonio beza for for a phenomenal job and <laughs> seeing i also want to thank uh, melody land and the team for pulling this together and I especially want to thank the marketing and communications team because, Pete, I want all my videos to look like that from now on, okay? It's fabulous. Phenomenal job with that. Um, I, I would like all the students who have received an award tonight to please stand up. And I just want to tell you something. So stand up. <clears throat> you are all truly exceptional. You are truly exceptional. And everybody in this room and hundreds more outside this room are so very, very proud of you, of all that you've done and all that you're going to do. So as the Dean of the College of Science, I'm telling you now, we want you to come back home every once in a while. We want you to keep us posted on all the wonderful things you're doing. Eventually, I'm going to ask you to give money to the university, but not today, <laughs> okay, just so we're clear. Um, and all of the faculty who help these students get to where they are, the advisors, the staff, everybody, thank you for all you do for Clemson and for these students because they wouldn't be standing up without each and every one of you. So big round of applause for everybody and let's go eat. Thank you.